Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. All righty, everyone. Good morning. It's about 5 a.m. We are up bright and early to last the valves on this thing. Get to the track super early so we can run. One of the first passes down the track. There is rain coming today no matter what. So we're trying to get to the track early. Get our passes done. So we are up and at it. Trying to get this thing right. And uh, hope that goes well. All right. Good morning, mullet. So procedure for this morning is spark plugs. We got a couple of melted plug wires. We got to fix that. We got to put the fuel pump belt on and change the oil. Check everything over. Then we're going to go look at the track, see how good that is. Hopefully we can make a spicy rip today. Oh, did that thing crash and burn? Yeah. I guess <laughs> I need to be more prepared for stuff falling. Yeah. I mean, look at our trailer. It's pretty beat. So we'll, we'll get that dialed in as the day goes on. One thing to note is there is for sure rain coming today. So our racing will be cut short. So we should bomb out these runs. Be good to go. Those are our competitors. Those are the guys leading the event right now. So we got to catch them. We got a 764 average and we have a 780, 86 average, something like that. So whew, we got some room to make up. All right, guys. Well, we're getting reports that the track's pretty good. So what are we doing? We're spicing it up. Spicing it up. We're going back to the same tune-up we started with yesterday. We're just going for the moon right off the ribble, how we normally do. Hopefully it pays off today. Boy, do I want a good run out of this thing, man. Let's go let it rip, see what we can get done today. before the quarter mile because I was looking at the end of the shutdown and I was like that's coming up quick Woo! full quarter mile full quarter mile for the Elko finally this thing barely sounds like it's trying dude it's like planning for like a 730 but uh, i'll take a 710 Mother, we're not idiots after all well <laughs> i mean we still are but i'll hold that on that that's right all right one more ow yeah let's uh let's take some power in it dude all right let's go fire me up Woo! all righty well looking at the tune-up we were tickling the traction control a little bit so 
we were kind of right on the edge of what the track can take, but we're gonna try and just shorten our boost ramp a, a smidge. On the traction control, so. Yeah, so if we can just tidy things up a little bit, we're gonna hopefully squeeze off a 7.0 or a 690. Maybe so. 699 would be cool. But uh, there's rain coming today, like a huge rainstorm that should hit around noon. So we're really hoping that this is just a decent 7.0 or yeah. 6.9 and we can roll out. We'll take anything in the bottom sevens, really. Sounds good to me. Car's good, fueled up. Uh, we pulled some plugs, checked the timing. We're feeling pretty good about everything, so let's do it. Yeah, I kind of take for granted, like we just went our fastest mile per hour ever, 201. And the thing's like running, whatever. came up to me he said with all the cars that had already gone down in between the track was kind of going away and so we set it up a little bit out of the groove uh, I pedaled it one time but I think that was still a, a pretty good low seven second runs oh man guys we're running on about two cylinders right now Maybe two cylinders. Oh, okay. I limped it back here. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a wiring thing. Okay. Listen. Oh. Okay. It's fixed. I literally drove here on two cylinders. Well. <laughs> um, it's fixed. Good guys, turn it off, turn it back on. It's like Classic a case of turn it off, turn it back on. Hey, I think they said they're gonna prep it at 9.30. Yep. Do we wait for that? Or do we take the 9.3 and run? I would, my vote was to wait till 9.30. Okay. Try to be first up and then we see what happens. And then that one, we no matter what, we pack up and leave after that run. Okay. All right, I'm cool with that. Okay. All right guys, so we ended up turning the traction control off. They just prepped the track, so it should be as good as it was earlier. And the car is standing up pretty good. I mean, I'd love to see a 690 before we leave, but I'm happy with uh, anything close to that. Well, I'd really love a six here, boys. Be my first ever six on a uh, Dragon Drive event. Freaking rip me out of my seat. Let's go, Mullet. Yeah, like I've got no power. I cycled the switches, but she won't come back alive. I can't roll the windows down or nothing. Yeah. What it run? 
705? Yeah. Ah, oh, frick. Dang it. I thought that was a six. No, it uh it was spinning a little bit. Okay, it went 205. Woo! Yeah. We're right there, buddy. We're, we're right there. It's not, it's not quite what we were expecting, but still better than the 10. It was letting the tire go mid track. Oh, uh, okay. But I mean, dude, the fact that the car is still running awesome and it went 205. 205. It's like we're, we're right getting into that efficiency zone of that engine and it's it's not working too hard. Yeah. But I mean, that's gonna, that those two time slips, 7 0 to 7 1, that's gonna put us in uh, probably in first. Oh, yeah. I think I'm, so. I'm definitely really happy with that. We'll be able to leave today, drive, but I'd like to see a six tomorrow. Me too. Me too. Convert if you do the valve lash, I'll do tires and all that stuff. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, Kev. Yeah, boy. Alrighty, on the road we go. go. We got a running race car still. Right. That's awesome. And went 205. That's big. So, may not be our quickest pass ever, but that was our fastest pass ever as far as mile per hour goes. So, pretty excited about that. All right, guys, we just put in our first checkpoint. Four hours and 17 minutes, 244 miles. Ouch, that's a long one. So, we better get to it. Looks like we made it out at the perfect time. We're getting a couple raindrops on the window. We got three or 400 miles to go. So let's get to it. It looks a little gloomy, but we should stay out of the rain for the most part and get to the next track. Stop taking pictures of the car. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, well, we just took 12 and a half gallons. Running good, man. That freaking uh, oil pan shield off. Oil temps are down about 60 degrees. That's awesome. Granted, it's a little cooler today, but you know, yeah. we'll take it. Car's running great, guys. We are really happy. We have several hundred more miles to go, so we're gonna grab some snacks. Maybe, maybe stop and hit a McDonald's or something. Friggin' Marauder, dude. The stock Marauder was actually at the track. I meant to get a video of it. The giveaway Marauder was at the track today, but I missed him. Well, this is a different angle. Kevin's is driving. I have not sat over here many times in my life, but it's kind of nice. I'm just chilling for once. All right, here we are. Another gas station down. Holy Toledo, 74 bucks for 12 gallons. You can always tell when Kevin pumps the gas because it's a round it's number. It's a round number, Just yeah. Like my YouTube videos. So we're yeah. slapping some fuel in it. Do you make your YouTube videos round numbers too? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're good. We got fuel. We're off to Cali's crankshaft, right? Yep. Oh, frick. Alrighty, made it to our first checkpoint. First and only of the day. Ooh. Car ran good. Yeah. Did 70 down the interstate for hours. Five hours. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. Sounds hot. Look at our uh, exhaust. It's turning nice and gold now. We got some, got some bugs on the front yeah, of this one. Yeah, so. yeah. So we're at uh, Cali's Crankshaft. They got a little display out. We're going to check that out. Bunch of other cars here. Ooh. That's a unit, dude. We need to take that with us. Duramax. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, god dang. Couple CNC machines in here. Oh my god. Look at that big dog. That's a crankshaft, bro. That's a crankshaft and a half, brother. Alright guys. We're definitely gonna get hit with some weather here. It's showing some pretty spicy storms. And they are chasing us down faster than we can get out of their way. So we're gonna ride in some rain, but we'll eventually make it to our hotel. And I don't know, it'll be alright overnight. Well, we're a little wet now. One thing that's just funny to think about is earlier we went 205 miles per hour. And now we're towing a trailer through a thunderstorm. The same car. 205 miles per hour. And now we're towing a trailer through a thunderstorm. That's just, that's crazy. This car's a beast. The guys have been 
I make bad decisions. I make bad decisions. I hate being on the side of the interstate. Could have easily just stopped, but here I am. Saying, no, I know my car. It's the hill that got us. Fuel slosh. Alright, so we're just putting some methanol in the trunk tank, which is not a normal thing. It's all we got with us, so <laughs> trying to make that work. Guess we'll see what happens. It should work. Hey. We're back. Yeah, we got good fuel pressure now. Well, hey, listen, the good news is methanol prices are the same fuel prices as the pump gas 93, so what's the difference? Yeah. Kevin made a big duty change. It runs fine on methanol. Hey, we're good. No worries. All right, we're fueling up. See if it runs. Alrighty guys, well we made it just in time before it gets nasty. The radar doesn't look too good, so we're gonna try and hide it under this overhang for the night. But we're gassed up, car's running good, so tomorrow we lash valves, change oil, go run a six, and then post a video of that beautiful six second pass for you guys. But that's it for now, thanks for watching, do it for the We'll freaking see you later.